Indian bacon, who knew? Wow. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. What's up guys, good evening. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Milan, Meghalaya, India. This village is located about a 45 minute drive outside of Shillong on the way to Cherapunji, the wettest place on the planet. And the reason why we're having dinner here tonight is because they have some unique foods. They have smoked pork, smoked beef, and blood sausage. I'm super excited because the pork here in Meghalaya is outstanding, the best pork I've ever had in my life. And now let's go see the making blood sausage. More see ya. I love it. It's a scab. Let's eat it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's, it's a scab, that, right? It's yeah. a scab. It's a scab. <laughs> if you guys have never tried blood sausage, it's so good. Do they mix it with rice here? You can mix it with rice. How do they do it? Uh, here, it's actually put out here. So this lady right here, she's selling two different things. She's selling blood sausage, which looks incredible. Big sausage. She has it right here in this like big pot. And then next to it, she has momos, so dumplings, she has pork dumplings. So we got both, and it cost 90 rupees, 90 rupees. What a great deal. Whoa. Hello. Awesome, guys. Hello. Hey, Hello. how you doing? Hello. What do we have here, pork? Ah. Pork? Hello. This is pork. Looks good. Local. Where Thank you. Pork? America, America. America. <laughs> I can't believe the butcher's right there just selling stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let me clean my hands. Yeah. Always carry around wet ones. This place is famous for their pickles. They have like a variety of pickles, but right now we're gonna try four different ones. <laughs> and right here we have the smoked meats, right there? Yeah, Are those smoked? Yeah. For our appetizer, we have the pork momo. Look at this thing, it looks incredible. We have right here like some spicy sauce, right? We have some onions. Oh, wow. Okay, it's time to dive into this. <gasps> it's hot, ooh. It's like falling apart. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's hot. <coughs> oh, it's spicy. Look, it just literally fell apart on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a bunch of this. Oh, there's onions, like a crazy amount of onions in the middle. Mm. It's very light on the pork. It's a lot of onions. But I like it. Very soft. Mmm, the spice. Nice kick. Not too crazy. It hit me really hard in the beginning, but it's pretty good. Dude, I can eat this all day. I need like five more of those. <laughs> but I want the meat. Let's Enough. open up the sausage. Look at this. Blood sausage. <sighs> Look, and it comes with this banana leaf. I love that. Wow. <gasps> oh, it's gonna dive in. I just love the taste of blood sausage. It's like, it's smoky, but at the same time, bloody. Mmm. Extremely soft, almost like a gelatin, but not like fat. Wow, and they mixed it with all these like herbs. We got onions, what else do we have in here? Spring onion. Spring onion, I was gonna say that. Mm. Man, look at this guy. This one is like the best right here. Okay. They gave this a lot, no? It's a big thing. There's very little places I've been to that has this sell. This, the only other place I've had, you know, blood sausage in India was in Little Tibet in Delhi. Yeah. You know, because the Tibetan culture, they like this stuff too. Mm. I'm starving. I love it. One last one, one last one. Oh my God, look at this. I'm so happy right now. This is like non-vet heaven. <laughs> right here, we have the pork, dry pork, right, smoked pork. Got the beef, that's amazing. And then here we have like a little tally. We have a mix of pickles, chutneys, rice. This is like mango right here, or what is that? Potato, it looks like diced mango. Sorry, I didn't know what it was. And then here, so it, this is a pork soup? Yeah. So let's try it with this then. Mm. Oh man, you can feel the juices of the pork. Oh, and it's hot. <coughs> I think one of the pickles like went into it. Oh my god. Give me a sec. Let me have a little bit of chai. Oh, I love chai. Chai, 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 chai. 
Let's dive into this pork. It's just so freaking good. It almost looks like bacon, you know? Oh. Bacon stir fry. Oh man, I love the Asian sauce to put in here. Mmm. Very tough. You have the onions. We actually have a few peppers there. That's basically it. Nice stir fry. It's a little tough to eat, but I really enjoy pork, so. I got like straight fat right there. Straight fat. Mm. One more. Oh. Indian bacon, who knew? Wow. Look at that. It's like tough. They're like really tough pieces, right? That they were dried out. Smoked and then dried. Beef time. Too tough. It's hard. Yeah. No. This one's not really my favorite. I like the onions. Mm. Almost broke a tooth right there. Oh. Yeah. They're all way too hard for me. Right. What I'll do is I'll have the onions. Just have the onions and the peppers. Mmm. I got like a, maybe a tiny piece of pizza. The beef is a little too much for me. It's way too hard. I almost broke a tooth. The pork is amazing. The pork's a little softer. It's more like bacon, you know, it's too crunchy, but really fatty and delicious. Now, we're gonna jump into this, right? The tally. Here we have the four different pickles we're gonna try tonight. Here we have bamboo shoot. We have wild apple. We have pepper, right? Yep. And then here, we have tamarind. I go with the tamarind first. It's nice, but you gotta see it. Get rid of that seed. Very strong. Mm. At the same time, it's a little sweet inside, because tamarind. Mm. That was so good. It felt almost like a fig. Next up, we're going with the wild apple. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Mm. It's like apple, it's been dried out. It's strong. It's a little dense. Mmm, it's good. I like that one. Very nice. It's chilly. Be careful. How hot can it be? Maybe. Maybe. This trap? David versus Goliath here. No, right. no, right. it's mild. It's mild, but I'm still like, like, my sinuses have opened up. I actually need a little bit of rice to like get through this. Mm. And here we have pickled bamboo shoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sure. Bamboo shoot's amazing. I, I can eat it just raw. Mm. <coughs> oh. oh, that one is pungent. <coughs> Damn, that hit me hard. I think all the spices are like stinging up on me. Yeah. Chai, chai, need some chai. Here we have potatoes mixed with carrots and, and beets. Oh, I like this. It's like a potato salad, but diced potato, like very finely diced. Very nice. A little cold, like a potato salad should be. Mmm. Oh, that's phenomenal. Fermented beans. Yeah. Sweet tomato, this one. Wow, okay. Fermented fish tunny. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one first. Do I just have it alone? This is the tree tomato. This is the one fruit that's like very, like from here, right? So yeah. super native. Mmm. It's like a tree tomato mash. It's very light, no spice, no spice. The fish one. The fish one's always hot. Oh, I like lost it in there. Let me get some more. Super salty, very strong. Very hot, spicy. Yeah, yeah, no, the best thing to do is get this and then go here. Yeah. Nice, it almost takes me back to like Thailand, because Thailand they have like fish paste, the shrimp paste, you know, do that a lot. Ooh. This is fermented beans. Chutney. The one we had earlier too. Yeah, fermented beans. Yeah. Mm. That one's super nice. I would say it's almost like peanut butter. Yeah. That's, that's the best like example. Oh, it's freaking amazing. 
Love it, thank you so much, this is great. And then this one, the big bad boy, roasted beef. Is it hard? Roasted beef. Mm. Oh wow. It's like a big beef mop. Beef, beef, beef mop. I would say break that in half. <laughs> wow, sorry. I had to hit it down. So it was a big meatball. Mmm. I love the sauce in it. What was that? That curry? I don't know. Would you? No? Oh my god. My nose, man. I can't. I can't. I think we still have one more thing here, right? We have this thing, right? Yeah. the wild mushroom. Here we have the wild mushroom chutney. Oh, look at that. It looks amazing. It looks like shredded mushroom with a pepper, right? This is what a chutney should taste like. Very earthy, mm, but there's no spice in here. Very little. My favorite. Mm. Oh wow, should I eat it with something like rice? Rice, yeah, try with the rice. Mm. Together is a good combination. That is the best one, wow. I might have to buy some to get home. And here we have the salad. Tomato salad, got some onions, what else is in here? A few different things. Is it a herb? Yeah, it's a herb. Called okay. Jamado. The herb is a little strong, no? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it changes the flavor of the whole thing. It was basically like a tomato salad, like a nice, cold tomato salad. It's very refreshing. It, it feels like I'm eating India. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good. Loving the pork, huh? Yeah. Loving the pork. And the pepper. I'm all about the peppers, but these peppers are hurting my nose right now. <laughs> like, you know, I don't feel spice anymore in my body. Yeah. It's more that my nose is just like, just not liking any of this. So David, I've, I've been telling you about this place. It's amazing about what they have. They have the smoked meat, like the pork and the beef. And they have a process, I mean, the process, it takes about a one day. They burn, I mean, they charge this uh, meat out there in the fire for 24 hours, you know, so that you get this uh, deep color of the meat and you, you, when you fry it, you get the crispiness of it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bye, have a good one. Amazing freaking food. So good, I know it's cold. <laughs> That's why I love Amagalaya. I mean, it's March. Yeah, it's and chilly, it's chilly. Hill station. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, the town, the village is like just a few different shops, as you see, the butcher, a few restaurants, and that's it. But you come here for food. Now we're going to drive 45 minutes right back to Shillong. Let's go. Whatever you say. All right, dude. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. See you. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you so you much. Tomorrow. Thank you. I'll thank see you on Saturday. Saturday. Good okay? night. Good night. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Take care. The dinner here in that village was so freaking good. I mean, every single thing except the beef. The beef wasn't great just because it was way too hard, but everything else was awesome. And yeah, I mean, I'm really enjoying my time here in Meghalaya. Meghalaya is so different. It's a whole different world in India. But yeah, guys, I hope you love this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Meghalaya.